Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Emmanuel for History and Coffee with our On This Day series for March 23rd. Today we are celebrating the birthday of culinary expert and food revolution leader, Fanny Merritt Farmer, who was born on March 23rd, 1857 in Boston, Massachusetts. She reshaped American cuisine by popularizing the use of precise measurements. She also made a scientific approach to cooking and its delicious results accessible to Americans in their own homes through her influential cookbooks. Her first major cookbook was called the Boston Cooking School Cookbook and was published in 1896. While it originally took the name of the Boston Cooking School, the education institution she essentially took over and remade, the book was soon popularly referred to as the Fanny Farmer Cookbook. Further explaining Farmer's measurement innovations, historian Laura Shapiro writes, quote, her particular innovation was the refinement known as level measurements, which she promoted forcefully with every recipe she published. Previously, even the strictest use of measuring implements retained the old notions of a rounded spoonful and a heaping cupful. To Fanny Farmer, it seemed simpler and more rational to dispense with the imagery entirely and call a tablespoonful a level tablespoon, using a knife to level the surface after the spoon had been filled." End quote. By discouraging reliance on a cook's personal culinary knowledge to estimate measurements, Farmer made cooking success more attainable for all Americans. She explained this in her original 1896 cookbook, writing, quote, correct measurements are absolutely necessary to ensure the best results. Good judgment with experience has taught some to measure by sight, but the majority need definite guides. Tin measuring cups divided in quarters or thirds holding one half pint and tea and tablespoons of regulation sizes, which may be bought at any store where kitchen furnishings are sold and a case knife are essentials for correct measurement." End quote. Farmer also emphasized when specific portions should be mixed together in a clearly delineated preparation process. Consider, for example, the instructions for the first donut recipe in her 1896 cookbook. She states, quote, cream the butter and add one half sugar, beat egg until light, add remaining sugar and combine mixtures. Add three and one half cups flour, mixed and sifted with baking powder, salt, and spices. Then, enough more flour to make dough stiff enough to roll. Toss one third of mixture on floured board, knead slightly, pat, and roll out to one fourth inch thickness." End quote. Now I want donuts. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for the next edition of our On This Day video series.